Uh, Bruce Lee, if you're there, can you please uh, say something? I just want to know why you specifically appeared to me. I am, uh, I am recording this right now. Why this is uh, live. Try your best. Now, um, as you can hear, I'm just using the uh, static white noise from the PSP7 stereo box. I'm not scanning it, it's just on the station on static. And I'm hearing some sort of voice. It sounds like a man. I'm trying to see if it's Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, um, can you give us your famous martial arts screen? Yeah, it's currently it's like uh, raining right now. Know that it's you. Uh, I just played a song, uh, It Can't Rain All The Time by uh, Jane Seabury. And uh, strangely, as I played that song, it suddenly just rained heavily right now. And it's like, uh, it's 4 a.m. right now. Um, September, Saturday morning on the 13th, 2000. 18 right uh, I'm doing this uh, just to uh, remember that I've uh, done uh, this uh, well uh, yeah I'm not going to I did I might hear something on playback yeah as you can see there's a lot of uh, People are using spirit Bruce boxes, Lee. trying to communicate communicate with uh, Bruce Lee. This was in a, this video is was uh, in 2017. Yeah. I remember I did one uh, back in 2017. I posted it on uh, YouTube. And now I think there's a lot of people suddenly uh, using spirit boxes. Uh, trying to, go to communicate uh, which is uh it says uh, on the screen uh, i'm still outside you know you gotta watch this uh you gotta watch this this video you know it's uh really interesting i mean uh to me it seems like uh maybe maybe his his ghost appeared to him um to sort of uh maybe i don't know maybe in my mind i think that uh okay maybe maybe there is a, a fourth dimension where you know spirits do can communicate uh, through boxes and i think that uh if this guy really saw uh bruce lee's uh spirit no, no, I just heard it like and um he is trying to uh, maybe send a message to all the users, you know, not just me, I guess, uh, all the users who are using the boxes. And uh, this video that uh, I am uh, watching right now is uh, in 2017, but right now, today, it's uh, 2018, and yep, like I said, I just uh, I just uh, I'm on, uh, I was uh, broadcasting myself uh, on Last FM, and yep, I decided to play a few songs about you know my memories. You know, sometimes for me, I just gotta like uh, listen back to like you know your like my own life, my my memories, like from childhood like from, from my teenage days 
and you know i like to like you know daydream you know like when you daydream your soul sort of like uh transcend you know and when you, and when you daydream or whatever you know when you're like uh dreaming i think you things unfold in your memory you know you might like realize things that you didn't realize back then and when you daydream you see things clearer again because you're i'm like much older now you know yeah, anyway uh, okay anyway i'm gonna turn this video down I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna off this video, okay? I'm gonna turn off this video. I'm just gonna keep talking, okay? Okay, my, uh, I got a lot of time. As you can see, uh, as you can hear outside my uh, window. Right, uh, that's how heavy the rain is, sir. Uh, and I just played the song uh, by Jane Sibbery from the soundtrack uh, from the movie The Crow back in uh, 1992. Yeah, uh, back in 92 uh, was when I... This is, this is uh, my story anyway. I don't care if you want to believe it. Uh, I don't care if you want to hear or you want to listen. Okay, I just want to record this down and i wanna like uh you know have it like uh recorded and like if i'm gonna kick the bucket or whatever you know i have uh at least uh said something or at least uh, uh record a message uh, to someone or whoever who might uh hear this or you know like sort of like uh being a prisoner or you never know when your time is gonna come and uh you know and you just uh wanna like uh just uh, share your experience like so back in 92 the crow came out right the movie the crow right i was still uh 16 right i was still 16 i remember i was still 16 and uh yes that was when i first got my first electric guitar it was black right it was a uh, black the same one as uh eric draven uh used in that movie uh, the character eric draven used in that movie yep i 16 i got my first uh electric guitar it was black uh well uh my mom uh, bought it for me it was my sort of a uh, present for my uh, high school because uh, i passed my exams uh, i passed my uh, grade uh, my n levels uh, my uh, my grade my uh, secondary four when i was in secondary school yeah <coughs> i passed my exams so uh, i just i told her i wanted a guitar because i was listening to music since uh, 14 since 13 you know since when i was in 13 i was like really listening to like um metallica um spaltura red hot chili peppers and all that and music and everything was already uh flowing in me when i was like 13 and then when i was uh suddenly uh when i was 16 that movie the crow came out you know and it was like wow it was just to me looking back back then and and uh, seeing myself uh, at that time i remember it was uh, really uh, a surreal uh, experience for me to watch uh, brandon lee playing the guitar and me as a teenager st starting out uh, as a band in which i did start the uh, band uh, here in uh, where I'm from, uh, which uh, we did had a scene going on. Uh, we did had a huge following. My band, you know, we were much, uh, pretty much in the underground scene and everything. You know, um, yeah, we did had like a few uh, distros, uh, CDs. I was, our, our, my, my band uh, were CDs were heard 
were were sent to USA and but that was back in ninety two, you know, and everything, you know. Uh, yeah, and then Brandon Lee, Brandon, uh, his son, Bruce Lee's son, died, you know, and it was just like not really shocking for me because being a 16 year old kid back then it was like you know when you're like 16 you're like going to school you know you're like 